That's what it takes. And you've got to have an ability to act because you can have a vision as powerful as anything, but if you don't have an ability to act, nothing is going to happen. So a vision without taking action is just that. It just becomes a vision. And an ability to act, well, most of the time we think about what we are going to do. But that is wrong because sometimes in order for us to be successful, we got to think about what we are not going to do. So sometimes you got to think about what is it that you will no longer do in order to achieve your goals. We know, guys, there's a lot of things. Most of the time, we know what we need to do, but we don't always do it because in a present moment, we get lost. So sometimes you got to think about things that you'll no longer do to achieve your goals. So you got to say to yourself, I'll no longer watch TV too long because I need to make time to study. I'll no, no longer party too long because I also have to work on achieving my goals. Sometimes an ability to act is also about thinking about what you will no longer do. All right. So to move yourself into action, you got to first have values. Secondly, you got to have standards. Now let's look at values. You see here, if you, what you're seeing on, I don't know, is it your left or your right? <laughs> okay, okay. The success side. You see that? You see those values? It's achievement, it's fun, it's friends. But when you look on the other side, it's friends, it's fun, it's achievement. Guys, values are important. And we know from a young age, we like playing. When we are five years old, there's nothing we'd rather do. We just want to play, right? So we get seven years old, we get 12 years old, we get 16 years old, we still value playing much. And so playing becomes the number one thing that we want to do. But when it comes to focusing and achieving and studying like a boss, if your number one value is partying and playing all the time, it gets harder, right? Because you're going to party all the time and you're not going to study. So you've got to look at your values and you've got to reconfigure your values. All the successful people, all the successful young people that I've spoken to have achievement as their number one value. Yes, they play. Yes, they party. But they study five hours. And party one hour. Study 10 hours. Party four hours. You know, you see how it goes. So guys, you got to look at your values. You got to reconfigure your values. You got to have higher standards because higher standards are important. When you aim high, you perform much better than when you aim low. Now, higher standards are about all areas of your life, not just what you want to accomplish in your studies, but your friends as well. And I always say this, if you've got five friends and all of them get 17% in mathematics and you get 25% in mathematics, 25% is going to feel like an achievement to you just because your friends are doing so bad, right? Yeah. But on the other hand, if you've got... <laughs> yeah, some people are bad. They can make bad look good, eh? <laughs> so, so, yeah, you got to have higher standards in the friends that you, you hang out with. I mean, if you've got five friends that all of them get 85% in mathematics and you come up with your script, you got 60%, oh, you pass, but you're still going to be disturbed. And that kind of disturbance pushes you. So you got you to gotta be careful about who you hang out with and you got to choose your friends. And I know when we grow up, I mean, people just, they just become our friends. It kind of, it just happens, hey? But choose your friends, guys. Change that. Don't let it just happen. Choose who you want to hang out with. When you see people doing great, go up to them. Say, hi, you're doing great. Hey, let's hang out. You seem to be brilliant at this. Hey, you doing, you know, make new friends that are more aligned to your goals and to your values. Now,